Hey everybody, it's Heather. Today we are talking socks. As you can tell in my title, I did it. I took the plunge and I finally knit my first pair of socks and I will show them to you in one minute. Um, I'm going to share with you what I learned knitting my first pair of socks. I've learned a lot actually. Um, the, the biggest thing I've learned from knitting a pair of socks, make sure the yarn that you choose to knit with you love. You have to love the yarn. If you don't love the yarn, you're not going to care about finishing it as much. You will get bored with it and you very well may quit. Very well may quit that and move on and just say, oh, I can't do it. This is so boring. Um, I started two separate balls of yarn in the past nine months um, to knit socks with. They're both sock yarn, but I didn't love the yarn. It wasn't speaking to me. It wasn't calling to me. It was boring the daylights out of me. So I just couldn't finish the sock. And the pattern, I started the Rose City Roller Socks three times. One time my cat chewed it up, what I had done. I had about that much done and my cat chewed it up so it separated from the ball, which kind of just like, ugh, made me mad and I didn't want to do it anymore. Then the next time, I don't remember what happened. I got bored somehow and I quit. And then, so that was that yarn. Then I was like, maybe I'll move on to a different yarn. Maybe it's the yarn that's just boring the crap out of me. And I bought another sock yarn that was like um, from, I think, Hobie or Hobium, something like that. I can't remember. It came from overseas. Didn't love it. Actually, I think, yeah, it's one of those. I'm not sure. Must be Hobium. I mean, Hobie, Hobby, Hobby, because I've never used Hobium before. Um, and I like this yarn. I just, it must be the Rose City Roller pattern wasn't the best pattern for me to start with because it was boring me. So, um, I'm going to show you the two balls that I started with that bored me. And then I'm going to show you my finished socks because I'm so excited about them. This is the first yarn that I tried. This is Yorkshire something. And this, I'm going to set this here. This is how far I got on my Rose City Rollers. I actually have almost half, if not more, of the heel flap done. And, you know, stitches are falling off now. It's still on the nine inch circular circular needles that I was knitting it with. There's a cat here on it. Because this is the one that my cat chewed off from the ball, which made me mad when I put it up. I was like, eh. This is my second time starting with this specific skein of yarn. And I'm just not, I'm not loving the texture of this yarn so much. I will probably use this in something else because it's not ugly yarn. It's really cool. It's self-striving, but it's just not calling to me for a pair of socks. And there's quite a bit of cat hair on it because obviously my cat was playing with this. Could have been the stitch marker. My stitch marker is really pretty though. Look, let's see if I can get this to turn around. It is a like geometric diamond. Very cute. Um, so that's one ball that I tried and I tried this one twice separately, two different total times, like months apart. This is the one that I got from Hobie that I tried. And I do love the way this yarn is knitting up. It's actually really pretty. It's like this dark green and this dark gray. It's got purple and there's even like lime green in here, which is really cool. Might even be more colors in here. That might be the last color. Yeah, it looks like that's the majority of the colors right there. But I just wasn't loving it. And I do honestly now that I've knit an actual pair of socks. I think it was the pattern and not this yarn because I like this yarn and I do think I'm gonna go back and try to make something else with this yarn. Honestly, I'll probably make a pair of socks, but in a different pattern. So we'll sit that there. Now, finished objects. I'm so excited, guys. So excited. This is my very first pair of knitted socks. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm so professional that I went out and bought sock blockers in my size so when I knit a pair of socks, I would have something to block it on. So I'm going to hold them upside down because they look cool. Oh, let's go. They walked off the screen. Okay. This is the 
my favorite vanilla sock pattern off of Ravelry. And like I said, what I mainly learned by knitting my first actual pair of socks is you have to love the colorway. This colorway is Bohemian Rhapsody from Lolo Did It in her Sparkle Sock Base. If you can see, I don't know if you're able to see it. It's sparkly and it's not showing. I, might, I don't know, you might not be able to see, but it is a Sparkle Sock Base. It's gorgeous, it's got just a little bit of silver Stellina in it, it's very pretty. And they're beautiful, I love them. It is a one by one ribbing at the top for the cuff and then it's stockinette stitch down for the length you desire. And then you do a slip stitch, heel flap, learning the lingo, the gussets in here, you know, I don't know all these things, but <laughs> you turn the heel, then you continue on in stockinette stitch for however long you need. And then you do your toe decreases and then you seam up your toe some way. There are lots of different ways to seam up the toe. There are lots of different ways. I say a lot of different ways. There's a few different ways you can knit socks because of the circumference. You can use, let me whip these out of here real quick because I'm not doing this. I'm gonna frog this. You can use nine inch circular needles, which is what I do. I use these until my toe decreases. Then I use DPNs, which I don't use them exactly like DPNs because what, like five come in a pack? I use three. I use one for the toe or the front of the sock, one for the back of the sock, and then one to pick up choo -choo -choo and knit. So that's how I do the toes. So you can either do nine inch circulars, you can use DPNs, which are double pointed needles. And I think I have one, let me show you. I have some cheap metal ones that came from Michael's because my daughter broke one that I needed. So my husband had to get it for me. You know, it's self quarantining time. You gotta use what you got. And he works at Michael's so he could get these. These are US one seven inch DPNs. They're metal. I don't like working with metal. I am one of the few people out there apparently who like working with wood needles, bamboo needles. These are also metal needles, but I think that's one of the reasons I was not enjoying this as much because I just don't like working with metal. What I am currently knitting, get this, my second pair of socks with, not that one. That one's finished. So we can get this without snagging it. Our nine inch wooden needles. If you can see that little tiny needle, it's so tiny and cute. I mean, it's <laughs> so tiny. It's like a toothpick. It's also a US one. It's a nine inch circular needle. And you can also use magic loop. I do not have an example of magic loop on me, but what magic loop is, is a typical needle on a really long cord. So you would have like a needle and then a really long cord and then another needle. And then you would knit, you'd pull the cord, you'd flip it over and you'd knit again. So I don't have that. I have not yet really done that with this. I have done magic loop with like sweater sleeves and stuff like that, but never socks. So those are like the main ways you can knit socks. That's really the only ones I know of. I mean, I you can use nine inch circulars, DPNs or magic loop, which is done with the long strand, long cord. Um, there's lots of different ways, like I said, to do the toe. This one looks the best. I'm gonna take this off and show you my sock. This one looks the best. This is my best sock. Look at that, guys. Look at the action. Look at this little baby. It's a sock. I love it so much. I could just, I have worn it a couple times. I've, um, since I wore it, I've worn a couple minutes around my house multiple times because it's already in the 80s, almost 90s here in South Carolina. So I don't really need knitted socks right now, but I'm enjoying knitting socks right now. So there is that. I'm gonna sit these here. Oh, well, you know what? While you're here, I will show you my second knitted sock. This one's not, um, the strands haven't been sewn in or anything like that. I haven't even tried this on the blocker, so let's hope it fits, you know? It is gonna be a little bit smaller because I did do some different things on this one. It's not gonna be as tight around because it hasn't been wet blocked or anything. But look at the color on this. Isn't this absolutely amazing? 
Oh, I love it. But this one, the toe looks awesome. This is like my best constructed sock so far, even though it isn't the best fitting because I did not do as many toe decreases. So yeah. I think this sock blocker needs to be um, sanded some more because it just snagged my sock. Isn't this pretty though? I do not knit my legs as long as a lot of people do, like pattern calls for like, you know, five or six inches or whatever. They usually come up to like here. I do not like socks that are really high on my legs because I'm just not gonna wear that. So I'm knitting things that I will wear and I know that I do not want as much length in the sock. And this fits too, it's a little bit smaller because I did not do as many toe decreases and that's because I did a couple extra rounds on the stockinette stitch in the foot and I thought I would make up for it by not doing as many toe decreases, but I think I still didn't do, I still should have done a couple more decreases. So whatever, I'll make up for it. I'll stretch it wearing it. And this is the mate to that sock. So I'm about halfway before um, on the leg before I need to do the heel flap. And then, you know, what they call the gusset, and then turning, and then the, then you do the foot, then you do the toe, then you do, da, 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 then you have a sock. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, but this yarn brings me joy, as they say. I think that's what I meant to say. In theory, you need to buy, to use a yarn that brings you joy when you knit a sock, because a lot of times people think socks are boring, and especially knitting two of the exact same thing can be boring. I don't think so because, you know, you have to knit two sleeves to make a sweater. But luckily, I don't wear matching socks. It's just not a thing. I'd, I've never worn matching socks since I was like in third grade. So there is no what they call second sock syndrome with me. I won't get bored making one sock and then having to make another one exactly the same. Because first of all, hand dyed yarn, most of the time it's not going to look exactly the same. Um, second of all, just the way you knit, a lot of times your socks are gonna come out looking different and that's okay with me because like I said, I don't wear matching socks. So no, I wouldn't, I mean, I might would put these together actually. But this can show you the difference in my two socks right here. See, this one is a good bit smaller than that one. It's at least, at least, um half an inch if not an inch smaller in length which is a big deal but i think it will be okay honestly because this one is a little bit stretched out because it's been worn this one is not stretched out so they look totally different right here but that's okay so my advice my final thoughts on knitting socks my advice is pick a yarn that you're gonna enjoy if you know you like dpns for sleeves or you know you like nine inch circulars or you know you like dpns or magic loop, whatever I said. Whatever you like for sleeves and cuffs or cuffs of a sweater, I would recommend trying to use that for your sock because honestly, you need to do something that you enjoy. And if you don't enjoy the method or if another method hurts your hand, but other people say it's the right method. Um, well, this yarn's not easy to frog, is it? If you don't enjoy it, you're not gonna finish it. Like I said, I didn't enjoy these and you need to probably pick a pattern you think you're gonna like. I chose the My Favorite Vanilla Sock pattern on Ravelry because it was very basic and I thought it would be easy to follow. This yarn is not giving away. <laughs> and I... hmm, it's almost like it's knotted there. I'll have to... That's because I'm... I'm pulling on the cast on, not <laughs> the working part. <laughs> that was a brain fart moment. Um, I hope everybody is doing good and I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it's a little bit all over the place. Um, much better. Oh, see what, that's what happens when you keep pulling on something thinking it's gonna unravel and it doesn't. Goodness. Everybody has a great is having a great day. I'll see you all very soon, guys. Peace.